Numa Domain Ministry International brings you the word of God that is able to unveil the power that lies within you. Listen expectantly as Pastor Bongwe Clement brings the voice of Dogsa with power. Let the unction of the Lord carry you that you will bear fruits and that your fruit will abide. I say you will yield fruits in this season. That is a betting of another generation and we pronounce you as pastors of thousands of congregations that anywhere he stayed upon the ground shall break up. You shall be a major voice in the land, in the town of Inugu. There shall be heart ablaze. your spirit begin to connect your life afresh to the word that is coming from the pulpit lebo shakla da baha mande lebo shake de bahata ronde gledida nande hi pana thank you lord worship him magnify his holy name thank you lord Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Kadaba Shatada Bada Badadosh. Membrondo son Telilanda Ingladi Kon Talabonda Sesanda Engladia Tanabaha. Ilamanga Tunzo Zovrenish Talagindo Pontolo Borovenish Taladia Taladia Talagenda Baradia and Tamandos Combondo Ingladida Ateliboho Sovrenida. For the hour has come when I will use this unique moment to reach on to my children all over the world with my lies spreading in their hearts and their spirits soaking into the being of my personalities. And I will carry my word with tangible presence to where it's needed around the earth, says the spirit. Oh, what a year. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. And further, Lord, we thank you for the first studio church of 2020. I want to thank you for the opportunity to teach, the opportunity to receive the encrypted word from the inner being and flowing into my generation. I ask tonight that your spirit will enforce this word on the earth realm. And our life will never be the same again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. You can have your wonderful seats. We've been on a series, The Benefit of Sonship. The Bible said in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 11, it said he came to his own, and his own received him not, but as many that received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. So it's a privilege to come into the sonship of the kingdom. And so we deal with it a series. The first point we had on this series of benefit of sonship is the arena of life that he exposed us to and he gave to us as a benefit. And number two, we're going to go briefly into the second point of the benefits of sonship. And uh, I'm glad the Lord also laid our heart to share with you that number two he gave us access to light everybody say light i want a, a very quick response everybody say light the lord through sonship gave us access to the light 
now the word light here per se you can call it revelation you can call it an awareness you can call it anything in the concept of this teaching because the bible said the things of the spirit is nothing to a natural man he said a natural man understandeth not the things of the spirit he said for there are foolishness unto him in other words he have given us what it takes to have an access to the light whose he is to the light which is also our realm and so we're going to go deep and uh, within a few minutes within this the confine of studio church will be done with this teaching tonight hallelujah i don't know if you are glad to be in studio church uh, i'm sure but you you won't miss it for anything this year Amen. studio church is an avenue where god want to talk to the whole world and wherever you're listening to me from the spirit of god is in your home right now wherever an arena you are give god an attention and something great is about to happen to your spirit Amen. hallelujah Amen. access to light genesis chapter 1 verse 2 you know you see god is light god dwell in light god dwell in light the total being of god for saying the original form is a light dimension but we are not far from this now god can be likened to let me use a how many of you have onion at home you cook with onion you make use of onion what about cucumber do you know cucumber no is it cucumber now what do we call it lettuce right which yeah whichever one now let me use onion specifically most times if you want to uncover onion they are in layers when i was young i played with it you peel off some of the old layers you have substance to the new one then you can cut to whatever you need so the same way you cannot finish knowing god at once so god is a light and the word light is not literally referring to the source of illumination in the natural or what we call bulb or electricity no it's beyond that so i'm going to take you to genesis 1 2 and the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep and the spirit of god move upon the waters next verse and god said let them be light and there was light literally king james read that it let them be light can we have other translation so that we can meet up with the understanding here now god actually spoke this thing into being now apostle paul wrote in corinthians much later and said he said god who commanded light god who commanded light look up at me everybody god who commanded light that means light is in his realm but some it was enforced into the earth realm so and the bible says you are the light of the world so there are scriptures in your spirit that cannot work for you until you command it into being you force it on situation can i hear you say man and as i'm speaking from the studio right now wherever you hear me the ability to speak into situation has come on you it's one thing to have the word of god and it's another thing to release it many of us have many we have properties but it's, it takes few that understand fully how the property can be utilized for instance your phone it's not every app on your phone that you master the usage so that means your phone is useful to you as much as you have a knowledge of the usage so in the, in, 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 in the same arena you could bring out the word of god the light in you over situation come on say this is my moment say the word of god is walking in my mouth do i have people in the studio church whatever you listen to me from say this walking in my mouth now let's have message bible say god spoke light 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 god spoke light now when you look at it from the king james rendering it looks as if god was struggling with himself trying to plead with light let them be but in the original context he spoke light into being god was speaking from the realm of his of himself being fully convinced of what his word can do hallelujah so when you check the king james rendering it looks as if it's bargaining it's not bargaining he's speaking from the realm of knowledge of knowing oh jesus that darkness in your home is possible is living right now 
that sickness can live now when you give it the appropriate word to so, you know, say light God spoke light and light appeared listen to me God spoke light and light appeared how now there's a Greek word I, I want to touch a bit everybody say genomai now there's a word genomai genomai means the ability of something to come from a certain atmosphere to come into what a location to take a form to come into a location hallelujah are you broke under the sound of my voice when you use god's word and speak it now when you said money show up in my account now or you speak money into your account what it mean that the money is going to respond by genomai genomai mean it's going to come from a realm into the location you are sending it to so this year being the year of the world you have to be sensitive to the word of god you're not going to just say money come on to me no how do you want it come you say my first bank account money appear here that means you are giving it a location it's not just going to go into gt bank it's not going to rush into asset bank you are giving it a total location you are calling it from unseen realm and then you are telling it where it should be in the natural realm oh my god i'm speaking good because there are realms as touching the universe there are realms the spirit realm is not neutral there are different kinds of spirit and dimension as you grow in the lord you're going to know this so god spoke light and suddenly the light came mind the light came from the unseen world from the realm of god and transformed into the natural where it's needed because there was darkness of upon the face of the deep and this word light here means illumination everybody say illumination so what God created, what responded to God for was illumination, ideas, inspiration, understanding. It wasn't literal light of sun or moon. Because when you check verse 16 of chapter 1, four days later before he created those satellites. Can I hear you say amen? Yeah. Effect of this thing will cause you to do the supernatural this year. I believe somebody is listening to me fully yes, the revelation that is hitting your spirit now will make you to produce signs and wonders this year yes, henceforth you will speak and see yes, the result of the revelation you are getting right now yes, thank you Lord Jesus can we have a, one more translation as we come out of this I'm just trying to give a little introduction before we get into the main I uh, said then God said let them be light and there was light now that's similar to King James actually the, and ever since then light has been in existence and we have been seeing a lot now I would like to begin on the dimension of access to light our sonship gave us a privilege our sonship gave us an, 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 an a hedge and a privilege over the enemy in such a way that we are not born just like that we're born into a realm of the kingdom and the kingdom where we're born into is a kingdom of light can we have colossians 113 colossians 113 this is just a way of introduction and then shortly we'll be done with studio chest the church is just a, a brief teaching and that i believe god is going to expand it to you in your home we are compressing it into 45 minutes for you but the whole of eternity what you are receiving will be unfolding daily in the name of jesus he said, who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had translated us into the kingdom of his dear son. Now, some translations use the word dear son. We are talking about sonship, the benefit of sonship. Now, the, 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 the realm of his son is the realm of the light. The Bible says God dwelleth in the light. In the old. That light appeared to men in various dimensions that they could pick. And tonight the light is coming in the arena of this topic. And I see someone being blessed right now. I see families being blessed right now. 
I see people listening to me. Sicknesses are leaving your body right now. Afflictions are bound to the authority of the light in you. This is a season in God's challenge, in God's calendar, that when you meet challenge, you announce who you are. You come to our the match here. You walk into the hospital and say, Congratulations, every sick here tonight. Light is here. Business is not doing well for your colleagues, for your family. And you check into a house and say, ah, Welcome, welcome, welcome. I have been trying to reach you on phone, you see. Since so and so and so and so, things have not been working. You smile and say, Hey, hold on, enough. Enough of those things. Light is here right now. I'm here. You tell them, I'm here. The moment you are saying, I'm here, in your consciousness, know that the light whose you are is there. Can I hear you say, Amen? Amen. Say, I'm the light of the world. Say, my light is shining brighter and brighter. And brighter. And brighter. Hallelujah. He said, Who has delivered us from where? From darkness to where? To the kingdom of his dear soul, which is the kingdom of light. And we have other translation. He said, For he has rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transformed us into the kingdom of his dear son. Now, can I have any translation that has to do with light? Can I have amplified? Let's have a amplified version. Imerama, oh, oh, Imerama, oh, Imerama, Imerama, to the king who sits on the throne. Can we read together? He said, the father has delivered and drawn us to himself. Now, look up at me. He has drawn us to himself. Now, you weren't born in the kingdom and left where you were before you got born again. That you were taken from a location into another location. So, in your consciousness, where you are now, there may be darkness around you, but right within your consciousness, you are inside a personality. Oh my God, oh my God. I say this is helping somebody. Now, you, 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 you have this consciousness that you are not in Usuka right now. It will make you escape every forces that are in the land. Let me touch your number. Say, in the world, but not of the world. In case you are listening to me at home and there's no being around you, there are angelic being in the air. Can you speak along with them? Now, you tell yourself, in the world, but not of the world. Hallelujah. Is it out of the control and the dominion of darkness and has transferred us into the kingdom of the son of his love all right thank you holy spirit still on the dimensional introduction to this you can write this down at home wherever number one we are born of light 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 we originated from light our father is light thank you lord jesus tell your neighbor i'm born of light i'm clothed with light i live in light i have light i function in light And then here, can you help me tell your neighbor and without missing word and with no apology to the devil I am the light of the world I'm here in the world now as the light of the world tell that I'm not a light whatever you listen to me from you are not a light you are the light definite article You, your light can only shine as the moment you refuse to see other lights, lower lights. That's why you don't need to live in competition in town. You don't need to live in fear of a herbalist, in fear of whoever is manipulating destinies wrongly. You see yourself as the only light. When you begin to see from the realm of the spirit that you are the light in that vicinity, every other light that are faking it then we will recognize with you and keep you in a distance 
Oh, hallelujah. Touch on the I'm far from principalities and powers. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jam the light of the world. So we are born of light. John chapter 1. We are giving birth to by our Father, which is light. In the book of Thessalonians, Apostle Paul called him the Father of all lights. I'm laying instruction because we're going to have the next week studio church. We continue with this. The series of light is big, but today, in a way, uh, you everywhere you listen to me from, you, you are you are to understand that what you are hearing is going to take you beyond where you are. And henceforth, there shall be no darkness around you any longer. Literary, hear this, wherever you listen to me from. There is no two realms as touching light and darkness. Anywhere you see darkness, it means light is not there. So the two personalities cannot cohabit a realm. That means every darkness is as a result of absence of light. So every revelation that is not in your spirit is the reason why you are suffering poverty right now. You're suffering from sickness, depression, anger. It means there is a certain aspect of light that is missing. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And tonight, knowledge is coming to your spirit. So we are born of light. James 1, 18. Let's have James before this. I'm, skip, I'm trying to skip this verse because I'm coming back here fully in the next few minutes. He said, of his own will, begat he us with the word of truth. And in John chapter 1, verse 1, he said, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God. And verse 14, he said, And the word became flesh. This same word, John described this word in verse 4 as life and light. Take note. Life and light. So if you listen to the, the, the first series of this tape, we talk about that one of the benefits of sonship that he exposes us to, to life. You can understand vividly that the life there gave birth to light. And as I'm speaking, I command from the studio that no one is going to follow this teaching with scholastic or head knowledge now. When we hear the word light, we are not referring to electric bulb or the, the light and whatever, the lightning in the natural. We are talking of dimension of revelation, knowledge, light. Most secular schools have their motto that will tell you knowledge is light. And the church needs to give attention to this. He said knowledge is light. It means every dimension of knowledge in you is an avenue for a, a certain light to be incubated in you for your generation to see it. Revelation will illuminate your path this year. Revelation will bring you out of circumstances this year. Has hands been laid? Has prophecy been given? Have you struggled with any area? Why not sit up in that subject of, 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 of circumstances? Why not give it attention of knowledge? I mean, the way you go to school and prepare for your exam. You take lecture, you prepare for a, an exam. You, there are some of you, after writing an exam, you know that you are going to pass. You, you are too sure. And sometimes if, if the result comes out without what you expect, some call forth for that paper, some report, some take it, further but they are took they are convinced beyond reasonable doubt that they wrote something in this year of god's word as we are taking off like this you must carry scripture to research stand by it fight the good fight of faith and then use it to bring that result can i hear you say amen of his own way begat he us we we're born of the world and that word is the light so anytime you hear the word life, we are talking the word. You hear love, we are talking the word. You hear light, we are talking the word. 
So the whole entire message of scripture points towards a personality called Jesus, which is the word. Can I hear you say amen? Yeah. We live and exist in the lighting realm. That's another point. I'm still trying to introduce this topic. So, we stand a lot of benefit in the kingdom. We live in that realm. We exist in the lighting realm. In other words, we exist in the revelation realm. Now, a time came when Jesus was exposed to the earth realm. And the Bible said he had 12 disciples with him. And they walked together for three and a half years. And one of such, on a certain day, he asked them, who do men say I am? Because if you give them direct question, who do you say I am? They are going to tell him much from the signs and wonders they saw. They will be confused. So he started from the opinion of men. He said, who do men say? Some say you are Moses. You are Elijah. In his mind, he knew he's more than that. This year, people will meet and say, ah, you are shiny, you no, know, but in your mind, you know you are more than shiny. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. From the revelation aspect, you are know you are more than what men are seeing. Yes, because this year, the Lord is ministering to me, and I'm talking to everyone under the sound of my voice, wherever you hear from me from. I'm using the word this year, even in the next 10, 50 years of existence, Jesus Terry, you listening to this tape. The year is arrested for you. This moment is arrested for you. You're going to have a fellowship of the Father in your spirit so much. So much of God in your spirit this year. So we are talking light. That's your benefit. You stand it as you stand the chance of assessing light as a song. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We live and exist in the lighting realm. We are born into that realm. But you need to take advantage of where we are born into. The Bible says if any man be in Christ is a new creation. Quite okay, we know of that. The, the question is, do you utilize that? Do you take advantage of where you are born into? Not just the head knowledge of knowing it. But you can walk in the consciousness of this daily. And it will be reveal in you practically the manifestations of those things you believe but your belief system reflects in character the way you talk but you need to give yourself some time some quality time of fellowship with the father this year and the world you sit you sit down and say lord what's this verse talking about then that will drive you into concordance it will move you into understanding from various view of various men and women of god god gave you as a gift listen because there's no anointing that is new every anointing exists from the pre-existed one. Oh, can i hear you say amen and i'm privileged to be to be a product of grace graces if there's any grammar like that because the bible said let you hear a little there so they told Jesus, you are Moses, you are Elijah. In his mind, he said, I'm more than that. But the moment Peter responded, he said, you that have been with me, who do you say? Who do you think I am? The moment Peter responded in that atmosphere of his assignment, he said, look, flesh and blood did not reveal this to you. That means the kingdom, we function in the kingdom by the amount of light of revelation that is in our spirit. That means revelation is our access into the kingdom. Is the you know, the lighting realm is our access, is our benefit. We stand it, we stand advantage of it. We, we have access to it as sons. It's not a prayer point. So this is an aspect where we need to wake up now to begin to do it. To do the word in that aspect. How you do you do the word? You go for it in knowledge. And as you begin to do that, the spirit of God, like I said yesterday, the spirit of God comes to help you in the area you do the word. Can I hear you say amen? amen? You're not going to fold your hand any longer. I unfold your spiritual hands. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Next point. We are the light of the world. We are the, we are, we are the light of the world. Matthew 5, 14 to 15. We are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. 
We are the light of the world. Indeed, we are. We are not making up this thing. We are the light of the world. We are the one the world is looking for. And we are not going to look up to another thing when the world is looking up to us. So when they look up to us, we look within and generate the light. Who we are and what we have. I prophesy, nothing can keep you stagnant any longer. Now, darkness is a, it, it, a picture of Satan. And most times, he likes keeping people in his arena. You know, causing you to live some, some dirty life and all those stuff. All he is doing, he knew what he knew who you are. And he can keep your mind on some things that have, does not pertain to your realm. So that he can supply you condemnation from that aspect. He can take away your confidence from there. Where you are to move on with the lighting realm. You will not be conscious of the darkness that you just partook of. And then you start having mixture. Then your life will start twisting. You are like a car that is swumbling on the way. But this is the year of focus. We are the light of the world. Matthew chapter 5. Can we read it together? He said, ye are the light. Definite article. You are the light of the world. He said, a city that is set on the hill. You are not going to be set. There's no 19 step to being set. You are not taking any step to be set there. You are already there. You are already set in there. You are set on the hill. And you are not meant to be hid. A life of darkness hid men from themselves. A life outside the revelation of God's word keep you in an arena where you see yourself daily. Set on the hill cannot be healed. Hallelujah. A city. The Lord did not say you are just a personality. You are a city. Bo, I'm dangerous. Hallelujah. Glory. I'm a city. Hallelujah. I have a city consciousness. Hallelujah. We are city takers. Hallelujah. It's a city. Suddenly the light here became a city. The light of the world. Suddenly the light became a city. And he said this city was not kept in, in a local realm. That means we are not local champions. We don't do local things any longer. The light of God is shining on that little business right now as I'm speaking. It's coming on that ministry. It's coming on that vision. It's coming on that endeavor. I speak from the studio. The hand of God is strong on you this moment. And what you do is no longer local. I see God multiplying men around us this year and beyond. In the name of Jesus. See, you are the light of the world benefit of sonship he has he, he made us to assess the light that means we have the key he gave us keys he told the disciples said to you you have been given keys to know the mysteries of the kingdom the mysteries of the kingdom are tied to revelation and the revelation is the dimension of light in your spirit the inspiration concerning certain information that have come into your spirit not just to stay that to assist the head knowledge but to assist your spirit to jack the whole of your being into doing the right thing that's why the bible said the part of the jest is as a shining light what does it mean the just is a righteous man who is a righteous man a righteous man is not a man who do things right a righteous man is a man that Christ Christ set to where he fulfilled the redemption that mentioned he brought you into the place of the spirit and then as you begin to bring the word of God into your spirit the lighting realm of his light will compel you to remain in the boundary where he kept you come on say I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus he declare you righteous but if you don't have light in you You'll be doing things that is contrary to the realm he bought, he paid the price for, to the realm he died for. Magnificent, oh, I worship you. Magnificent, oh, you are worthy. Magnificent Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Magnificent Lord. You are holy. You are holy. Hallelujah. He said, "Ye 
are the light of the world. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Oh, hallelujah. That means your business cannot be hid any longer. That means the idea that the enemy is setting fear. Oh, you, you, you better not start it. You're going to fail. Don't you see your auntie start that business and it cannot succeed? Don't you see so-and-so in town have failed in this business? No, no, no. The devil is trying to hid it. It's now exposed. I see it coming out for your word. Hallelujah. I'm speaking to somebody from the studio under the sound of my voice. I see that thing coming out of you. He said you cannot be hidden. That means we have a commission not to be hidden. We all do respect to the Holy Ghost wherever you listen to me from. Our ministry is not on the, on the major street in town. But yet people flood in here. I don't know where they come from. We can't be hidden. The light pulls them here. Oh my God. I said that the light, who you are and have as a son, one of the benefits that he assess you to light. And that light, it, you know, from the Greek word is fortizo, which means manifestation. It's going to pull many to you this year. It's going to pull favor. It's going to put possibilities. It's going to pull empowerment for the fulfillment of that mandate and ministry. You're going to gather souls this year for Jesus like never before. I prophesy you are going to depopulate hell in your generation. God is speaking and the ocean is coming on people to wake up from within, to be bold and courageous about your calling. You are the light of that community. You have a say in that community. We have some religious songs that talk about who has a fine I say. Well, we do, brother. We do, brother. He lives in me. They say, Jehovah have the final say. So most times you get, where you are to speak God's word, you'll be stranded. They're waiting for Jehovah to speak. Jehovah is not going to speak. Jehovah has spoken. So when I, when I, when I meet situation, and, and I know that the scripture have handled some situation, I turn myself to an echo at that moment. I echo what has been voiced. And what has been voiced is what is written. And what is written is the foundation of the scripture. And the Bible says that the scripture cannot be broken. In other words, by time, by place, I have what to say. If God, the Holy Spirit is not speaking, I pick what is written and I start echoing. That means God is speaking at that moment. Whichever way, the word of God thrive and work in all situations. Anywhere, anytime, I'm speaking to somebody tonight. I, 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 I equip your voice afresh. Come on, say, I am the light of the world. Oh, hallelujah. Say, I transact with light. I do business with the light. My heart is fixed on the light. My heart is made up. My heart is fixed. Psalm 57 verse 7. My heart is fixed on the light. It's my sonship right. I have access to light. And I walk in this consciousness. No, Jesus said, a time will come. Guys, I will check out of the entrance. And you're going to meet counsel of, of, of leaders that are going to question you and put you under some duress and under some circumstances so that you can deny me. You say, guys, don't rehearse what to say. In other words, he's simply telling them what is in you will jump out. That's what most times in situation I, I, I don't really, I, I don't really, I, I don't really take chances around believers when all things is well. You see them confess God. I will always be quiet. When you meet circumstances, I try to understand your view. What is in you will start jumping out when you meet problem. Hallelujah. Almost say, I know who I am. I know who I am. I know who I am. I'm a son in the kingdom. I have kingdom authority. And I'm loaded with kingdom power. I know, I know, I know, I know. My life is full of testimonies. Greater is he that is in me. I assess light every day. The word of God is in my spirit. I'm compatible to the word of God. And the word of God is compatible to me. In other words, we're in the same face with the word. The word walks me every day. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I can't be stranded in my life any longer. The word has come to assist me. I live in the light. I walk in the light. I talk light. I function in the lighting realm. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Darkness is afraid of me. Oh, hallelujah. My part is shining. Come on, celebrate, appreciate the Lord. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Give the Lord praise. Give the Lord praise. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. I pray for you at home, wherever you're listening to me from. I decree in the name of Jesus. Whatever you hear tonight, the word of God that you have received is going to work wonders. It's going to work situation. It's bringing healing to your life and home in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening. Don't keep this light you've heard. Walk with and on it. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Numa Domain and on YouTube at Numa Domain TV. For prayers and counseling, call 0706-290-4206. Also, be a part of our services at Numa Domain Ministry of Odenibo Roundabout, Salem City, Nsuka, Enugu State, Nigeria.